Welcome back to my new video, guys. In this video, I want to talk about some of those difficulties you might be encountering while studying for the MCAT. I personally have encountered a lot of discouragement and disappointment while studying for that test. Chances are you might be encountering the same exact thing. And I want to make this video to assure you guys that it's totally normal and okay to struggle with the MCAT and that it's something that a lot of people end up going through. However, that said, do not let your discouragement get the best of you because the MCAT is indeed a beatable test. I want to talk about many of the phrases that got me through this discouragement and a lot of affirmations that helped me keep my head up while studying for the exam. And some of these things you could hopefully take away. One of the Chinese proverbs that I personally came up with was that on the MCAT, you need to start thinking of the test as a test that's trying to help you out, not trying to screw you over. Because I see so many of my students think that the MCAT is out to get them and it's out to trick them and out to make them fail. In reality, if you start looking at the MCAT as a test that's going to help you get into medical school, you'll start seeing it as a step up in your career. Also, you're going to start seeing the test in a different light because the test is beatable as Unbelievable as that might sound to some of you all, there is a method to beat this exam. Once you start seeing that the MCAT is actually trying to help you get the right answer, that is going to allow you to see the test in a way more optimistic light and do better on the exam. So therefore, my proverb, which I should hopefully have in quotes here, I don't know, maybe down here I'll say, the MCAT is a test that's not trying to screw you over. Rather, it is a test that's trying to help you get the best score possible. Josh Morales, 2023. Boom. Nice quote right there. Got a trademark or copyright it. Whatever you do to quotes, I don't know. Another thing that I would do when I face discouragement was that I would get with my study buddy. A lot of times, my study buddy personally, she brought me a lot of joy. You know, I don't know. She was one of those people who was always happy all the time. Even though I would tell her sometimes test didn't go the way I wanted it to go, she would often encourage me and reaffirm that I could do it. She would give me a ton of positive reinforcement in that regard. On the MCAT, self-fulfilling prophecy is a real thing. It is a real thing in both good scenarios as well as bad scenarios. For example, in the psych social section of the exam, they've done experiments where they've taken Asian men as well as Asian women, as well as people of the rest of the general population who were not Asian of other races. This study was seeking to study the stereotype that Asians were good at math, which, of course, was seeking to understand self-fulfilling prophecy. Because if Asians were really good at math, would they live up to that stereotype? Well, it turns out in that psych social passage, Asian men ended up doing way better at math than the general population. For Asian women, however, they ended up performing the same. Why is that? Well, because in society, there is the stereotype that women aren't that good at math. I don't believe it. I'm making it very clear that I don't believe in that stereotype. That is a stereotype that was out there, and that was a stereotype that is within the passage. Just as a disclaimer. I don't want to get canceled, all right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, supposedly, when all three groups were reminded of the groups they belonged to, the examiners made it very clear that the Asian men were Asian and, in fact, men. And the examiner said something along the lines of, oh, because you're Asian and because you're men, you should do very good on this exam. Likewise, they say to Asian women, because you're Asian, you should do very well on the exam. However, because you're a woman, don't expect too much. That was what the examiner stated. And for the general population, they didn't say anything because there is no associated stereotype with the general population. The point of this study, the reason why I bring it up, is because what the examiners and the proctors said ended up coming true, for better or for worse. Self-fulfilling prophecy is a scientifically real phenomenon. So you yourself need to apply it when you're studying for the MCAT. And that you yourself need to believe that you can do it and that you can conquer and beat this test. You need to start seeing this exam as being beatable. Because once you do, it'll change the rest of your game and it'll change your studying. And it'll change your review process. And you'll actually start improving on the exam once you believe that it is actually a beatable test. That is the reason why I bring up that study. It's to prove that self-fulfilling prophecy is indeed a real phenomenon. If I'm able to find that Jack Weston passage, I will link it in the description below under the condition there's always a catch guys i would need this video to get 55 likes i'm pushing the like limit up because i know this video can do it and i know that you guys can also do it on the mcat exam no matter how discouraged you end up feeling so start thinking of the mcat as a test that's actually trying to help you out because it's a tool that's only going to strengthen your admissions profile start thinking of it that way that should alleviate a little bit of the discouragement you're experiencing on the exam i'm josh 
The MCAT is hard. The MCAT's important. And I'll see you later.